Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the third kind of mark making that we're going to be uh, uh, practicing in class, which is called the contour. Now the contour is um, basically uh, something that you should be used to doing, kind of. It's, it's a form of outline, but it's a, it's a physical exercise where you're trying to control the speed of your eye and how your hand moves, okay? So if you look over here on my windowsill, I have this kind of decorative theater mask and a little mirror back here and a, a little ceramic shoe from Denmark and a weird ceramic uh, bottle that my daughter made. Um, just random objects, kind of complicated objects, right? Uh, and in class, you'll be try we'll be uh, using um, skeletons and stuff like that. Uh, and tree branches. Um, um, so what this exercise is, is you're going to, uh, you're going to draw um, the, the, from your observation, but you're never going to take your pencil off the page and you're going to try to control the mark making little by little so that you can kind of like um, really like try to mess with how all of the different little areas kind of touch each other and kind of go around and then up the antlers and you know the, the mask is kind of cool it has like antlers on it like it's kind of a big mask right um, so uh, I'm gonna do a, a part of this and I'm gonna try to make my drawing big and eventually reach the entire edge of the paper so this is what this exercise is so I am putting my eye on the uh, uh, the edge of something. I, I, I'm gonna put it on the edge of the wooden shoe over here, right? Um, so I'm gonna put my pencil down, right? And looking at that, I'm going to never take my eyes off the object and I'm going to start sketching. Now this line is a very slow line. I'm gonna come down the back of the shoe and I'm kind of going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. If you notice the the, the line is a very slow moving line and I'm gonna kind of try to find the edge of the shoe. So here I'm getting to the bottom of the shoe, right? And then I'm coming up this way and I'm slowly trying to move my eye and my hand at the same speed. As I'm going around and I'm following the different lines that I see in the, in the objects, I am going to, so now I'm going up the top of, and then the shoe has kind of like a pointy tip to it right over here. And then this is gonna come this way. Again, I don't wanna take my pencil off the, off the paper and it's a hard because it's kind of a, a, a bad habit to get into, but you're gonna kind of go like this and then you find the top of the shoe. And then as you get to the end of the shoe, you're gonna jump to another object. So I'm gonna jump to the mirror. So the mirror comes up Right, the mirror comes up, the mirror comes up, and the mirror comes up. And you're not trying to, you're not trying to, like, again, do a lot of details and stuff like that. What you're doing is you're trying to follow the lines that you see. So, as you can see there, I went kind of around the shoe, and then when I got to about over here, I started going up the mirror. And then I'm going up the, down, up the side of the mirror, right? And then I get to about here, like I get to about right about here, right? And then I see the edge of the mask, like the edge of the mask starts right about here and starts coming back down, right? So again, I, I know that I'm taking my pencil off the paper, so I'm being really bad at this. But uh, you, when you do it, you want to kind of keep your hand from going off and just follow the line. Right, so now I see that I get to the top of the shoe again, and then over here at the very tip of the shoe, I see like a cheek line on the mask, right? And that cheek line comes up the mask, right? And comes up this way and comes up this way. And uh, right about here, I have like this kind of like headdress part of the mask that's coming this way, coming this way, coming this way. And it's kind of like this organic following, trying to make your hand move as it follows the eye, as it follows the lines that it sees on the objects. Again, this is an exercise. This is not a finished drawing, but this is just a continuous, continuous line. Right about here, there's a feather that's in front of the mask. I'm gonna follow the feather down. I'm gonna kind of 
I'm gonna to try to give that information over here. And then I get over here and I see the top of that kind of spooky looking bottle, right? Spooky looking bottle, spooky looking bottle, spooky looking bottle. I'm kind of getting that information there. And I'm just kind of jumping and then that spooky little face has a spooky little eyebrow and it kind of comes this way and goes all the way across. And, and then I see like a kind of a weird funky eyeball that looks like a frog and kind of goes around like this. And I'm slowly putting in the information as much as I can, right? And then I'm coming this way, and then I kind of come this way, and then I'm gonna see the other side of the feather, and the other side of the feather comes up like this, and it's kind of arched, and it's kind of coming up this way, and then it gets really skinny, and it comes up like this, and then I get to the top of the feather, and I see all these kind of like hairy things coming off this way. So I'm gonna to try to tr show like the broken pieces of the feather, and, the, and, 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 and and just following those lines coming in and out and in and out. And then right about here, I get the top, the real, the true top of the mask, right? So I see the true top of the mask and the true top of the mask comes this way. And I'm gonna follow this line into the first antler, right? Because the mask has antlers on it. And uh, you're gonna follow, 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 follow. And you're gonna try to fill up the page with information. So I get to like the first little tendril over here. The second little tendril is kind of bent a little bit more. It's a little fatter over here. This comes this way. Then I come back over here. And then I'm coming down the side of the face, kind of side of the face, side of the face. And then I come back this way. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna follow the frame. The frame of the mirror. And the frame of the mirror has, has like little broken tiles in it. And it's like a mosaic design. And you're just going to keep on adding more and more information as you go in the most organic way possible. Um, in class, you're going to do three pages of your sketchbook like this, where you're going to grab a whole bunch of objects. Again, never taking, try, never trying to take your, um, your, your pencil off. You can go over lines if you want to go over lines. Like over here, I want to follow this over here. And then all of a sudden, I see that the... The antlers come this way, and there's another there's another spire of the of the antlers that comes around this way, and then curves back. And I'm trying to slowly control this, and then it goes off the top of my page, and then I see this kind of curve in this way, and the antler comes like this, and again it goes off the top of my page. So then I'm going to come off this way, and I'm going to come back down this way, and I'm going to put that information on there, and then. It hits right about here, and it goes past here. I'm being, I'm not looking very carefully. And then this comes this way, and then I can kind of come back this way and follow this around. And then there's like a design in here, and I'm gonna follow the design in here, and there's like a spiral design that comes this way, and then that way, and then kind of curves around here, and then creates a thickness, and comes all the way over here. You're just gonna allow your hand to dance from line to line until it fills up the page with all of these lines, and you're gonna start seeing the kind of the, 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 the shapes kind of like almost abstracted on your paper, okay? This is the very, uh, the, so this is how we're doing a contour. The idea is, right, and this is unfinished, and I'm gonna, keep, and I'm gonna you know, we can keep on playing with this and eventually I can get the face on there. Again, I'm not worried about being accurate. I'm trying to move my eyeball moving around the edge of the object and my hand at the same time, right? So that my, what my eye is looking at and how my hand's looking is moving at the same speed. This helps build a stronger connection between how your hand moves and how your eye sees. Um, so we're gonna be practicing this um, and trying to fill up, uh, we're gonna be filling up three pages of our sketchbooks and we're gonna be using very complicated objects with lots of lines in them so that you can slowly kind of move from line to line and try to control the shapes of the objects, right? So uh, I'll see you in class.